Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching CSS Positioning Lesson 10 and in this video I want to talk about fixed positioning. Wow. Alright then gang, so we've looked at relative positioning and we've looked at absolute positioning. Now I want to take a look at fixed positioning and to do that I want to create a navigation system. So what I've done is at the bottom of this wrapper underneath these two columns I've just put in a nav element right there, then a UL then a few li tags each with a bit of text in it so it's just looking like this at the minute now i've styled these li tags with a list style type of none and a margin of top and bottom of zero and left and right of 10. so what i want to do is just style this up a little bit first of all i'm going to start with the nav and i'm going to make that a background of 333 three, three, like a dark gray okay and i think i'll give it a padding of five pixels all right then, so what I want to do now is come down to these LIs. I'm going to make the color of them white so they stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to float each one to the left like that. But you'll notice when I do that, in fact, I float them to the right. You'll notice when I do that, this nav collapses. And that's because these elements within the nav are floating and we've not cleared the floats. But remember, we can use that clear fix technique that I showed you a few episodes back or a few tutorials back rather, where we take the parent element and we insert an empty content string into it using CSS and then we clear that. Okay, so let's do that. Let's grab this UL. We'll say nav UL and then use the pseudo class after. And what we're going to do is insert that content, an empty string, give it a display type of block, and then clear both. Okay, and that's going to restore that height of the nav. All right then, so that's how I want it to look. But now what I want to do is position this right at the top, and it's going to be fixed at the top so that when I scroll down, it stays there. So to do this, all I need to do is give this nav element a fixed position. I'll say position fixed and then what I want to do is give it a top and where is it I've lost it give it a top value of zero and a left value of zero and then I want to give it a width of 100% and it's going to span across the whole page then so now guys this navigation stays at the top no matter how far I scroll down okay so what I've done is I've given it a fixed position and whereas absolute is positioned relative to its parent container which has um, a position of relative attached the fixed position always positions itself relatively to the document window okay so this is zero zero top left this is zero zero top right so if I put top 20 pixels in or 200 I'll put 20 pixels to begin with it's positioning itself 20 pixels from the top of the window if I put left 20 pixels it's positioning itself 20 pixels away from the left makes sense right so that is commonly used for menu systems like this to fix it at the top so you've always got that navigation there right so that is how we used the fixed and by the way when we used position fix this is taking it out of normal document flow also, so it no longer occupies that space down here at the bottom. Now the reason I've got the scroll bar at the, the bottom here is because I gave this some padding. If I take off that padding, then it should no longer do that. Yep, it's gone away now. That's just because it was already 100% and we applied padding to it as well, so it was going over the 100% width. Alright guys, so that is how we use the position fixed property in CSS. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the very next video.